Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, solder new buttons onto your Xbox 360 Slim. And I'm basically going to show you exactly which pins you will need to solder. Uh, basically a switch to. Um, I'm going to be using a cable just to show you uh, exactly which pins should be touching on the momentary switch. So. Um, you've got a ground pin that is right here. It's, um, I hope you can see that. It's right there. And you've got two rows of pins. And your second pin, which I will show you right now, is your power pin. And you need to connect the power and the ground to turn on the Xbox, which I will do now. Okay, so as you can see, my Xbox is turned on. Right, you can turn it off using the same thing. Okay. Now, the fourth pin you'll see along here is the eject pin. And that will eject your uh, Xbox. So um, I'm going to show that right now. Uh, you won't actually see my DVD tray eject as it is obviously not on the screen. Okay, so I have an Xbox. Uh, a Gears of War 3 Xbox, so it makes that custom noise. Okay, I'm just gonna actually, while I have the Xbox on, uh, I will also show which is the controller syncing uh, prong. So that is the bottom left prong on the actual physical sync button. Like it actually has a proper button, but uh, if you're making a case mod like I am, then you'll need to rewire physical buttons. So basically, if you're doing what I am in creating three buttons, you'll have essentially three wires twisted together and soldered to your ground, and then you will have one cable each individually going from the switch to the corresponding prongs. So uh, I'm just going to show the controller syncing now. Alright, and there we go.